What's good everybody, it's your boy Hamza from Martha Gaming, and today guys, I'm coming to you with a brand new deck profile of a deck a lot of people thought died after the ban list, and that is Danger Thunder. Now, with these big hits to the deck such as Summon Sorceress and Dark Matter, a lot, think, a lot of people think that the final board isn't as appealing or isn't as strong, but I'm here to show you guys that this deck absolutely has one of the highest healings in the game right now, and should definitely be probably the second best, if not the best deck on a lot of people's top 5 meta decks of this current format. Before we get straight into the video guys, I'd like to give a huge shout out to our lovely sponsor, Card of Magica. Make sure you check them out for all your Yu-Gi-Oh! and other action figure needs. Another uh, huge shout out goes to um, uh, all our lovely Patreons, all our subscribers, everybody who's part of the Facebook group and the Discord. Make sure you guys join all of those groups and uh, you guys can have nice little one-on-ones with us and the whole Aether Gaming community. But without further ado guys, let's get straight into the deck profile. So starting off with the normal summons, you played the Trail Batteryman Solar and the one Sky Blaster. So first off, huge shout out to OTS for giving us a nice beautiful rarity bump for the Batteryman Solar. But this card, self-explanatory, it's like the main starter of the deck. And then the one Sky Blaster because he's uh, cut to one. Um, a lot of people think that this he really hits the deck, but in my personal opinion, it doesn't really do too much to hinder the deck other than not being able to turbo out Yuja, but you'll see the differences we made in our extra deck to um, compensate for that. But right now, these are the best normal sums of the deck. I don't want to play Armageddon and Greffer just because I feel like um, you commit too much on the board, and this is a Thunder, and this automatically gen generates a token so you can go into another Link monster. So, uh, four normal summons, nothing more, nothing less. Then onto the Danger Engine, we play the Triple Danger Big Snake, Triple Danger Little Snake, Triple Danger Thick Boy, and Triple Danger Big Boy. And basically, what these dangers do is they enable you to keep the deck consistent, even though Sky Blaster was hit. Um, the one application Bigfoot has is not only that can he um, pop a lot of face of floodgates, but he also is a level eight. So Jackal can summon him, and you can go into your level eight rank plays. Um, Jack, and then these uh, nine are the um, guaranteed special summons of the deck. You don't play Mothman just because uh, Mothman helps your opponent filter their hand as well. Like being able to draw into a hand trap and pitch like a gazelle or pitch like an engage or something like that. You don't want that, especially in the mirror match. Snake, self explanatory, and save with Nessie. Nine um, dangers in the deck. I think it's uh, super standard. Moving on to the thunders. We play Triple Vanilla Thunder Dragon, because why not? Double Hawk, I wouldn't say cut this down to one because in the grind game he comes up. Two Dark, self-explanatory, it's dark. Two Roar because it's Roar and you, and you want them to hear you roar. And the one Thunder Dragon duel. Basically, I think this is the best um, Thunder lineup, especially going into my type of list. Of course, if you want to play like um, the Egg Matrix and stuff like that, you can, but right now this is it. And the reason why I say you need to play one Hawk and one Roar one more roar than the conventional 1-1 one -one is because Thunder Dragon Duel enables you to get these cards during your opponent's turn. So if you're going second, these two will definitely come up because after Duel uh, runs over a monster, you're going to want to search the Hawk or the Roar for follow-up play next turn, and he enables that. So again, guys, uh, those are the Thunder cards. Nothing more, nothing less. Um, I have been exper experimenting with Denko, but right now I think that's the best list that you guys can go with. Super standard. Then moving on to... The Dragon Monsters, you still play the Triple Levy in here because he's absolutely insane. He enables so much nonsense and he's the reason why he can hand loop. And then the Diablos because once again guys, he can hand loop. And then the one Phantasmi. Basically all these cards are searchable in your deck because of a new card in Dark Storm. And when I get to that card, you guys are going to lose your minds and you guys are going to flip the lid and flip the switch. Basically, these cards are insane. Like being able to search all of these cards on demand if you have any of these cards already in your hand are really, really important. And this is the reason why this deck is currently functional the way it is. Then moving on to the dragon engine. You play the two black dragon and the triple white dragon. Super standard. Again, you want to open white dragon or draw into it. Black dragon's not as good, but he still has his um, uh, applications, especially with the new uh, heretic link monster. So don't change these guys. If you want, you can cut it like this, but right now I love it like this and I haven't break on him too much. That's it for the babies. And now moving on to the dragon dragons. You play the one Defrag Dragon, just because Defrag Dragon helps you play through like cards like Droll and Lockbird and Artifact Lancia. You play the one Goliath because you can actually summon the Goliath off of the Heretic Seal. And I think that's the main reason uh, why this deck is really potent in the current metagame. And then um, uh, the one reason why this deck can currently function because of Dark Neostorm is this guy right here, Omni Dragon Brotor. Basically, what Omni Dragon Brotor says is when he's uh, special summoned, you can target one uh, monster on the field. And then discard a card, but the target's for cost, not the discard. And then he searches 
uh, your deck for a monster with the same type and attribute as a card search summon. So basically, in the combo, you summon them off of LP. You'll target yourself and discard a card, and you can search Levy and Deer, Diablos, or Thanos. So like I showed you guys, the reason why I grouped these cards together is actually all three of these are searchable. Say you open the Levy and Deer, you can just search the Diablos. Say you uh, open the Diablos, search Levy and Deer. Say you open both these, you search the Thanos, and it's good. And then he also has a pretty random um, secondary effect, or like his first effect, which is if he's in the graveyard or in your hand, and a card uh, is destroyed by battle or card effect, a monster, you can special summon him. So during your opponent's turn, after you do your play, say they out the Goliath or like whatever, he'll summon himself to defense position, target a card, discard a card, and then he searches Thanos during your opponent's turn. So it's really, really insane. It gives the deck a lot more applications in the current format, and I think it's it's just broken. And then, of course, you play a Pot of Greed because why not? A lot of people have been questioning why can't I play like Melody and Allures because you want to respect the Mystic Mind matchup. But if you go first, you win the Mystic Mind matchup anyways. And then going second and third, you see your side deck cards to be able to play through it. So that's it. There's 40 in the main deck. It's a lot uh, better than the current, like the previous 45 card list. But anyways, going into the um, extra deck, we'll go right into it. You gotta have your standard tokens for um, uh, the Phantom Sky Blaster. So Yusei Fudo, shout out Yusei. And me, your boy, eating some chips. Really pretty comfy. Shout out George Anime. And now, going into the Link ones, you play the one Guard Dragon LP and the one Guard Dragon Pitsy. Basically, you need to play both of these cards in the combo because it allows you to draw four with the Saryuja play, as I'll show you guys at the end of the video. Um, yeah, super self explanatory. Like, sometimes if you brick, you can special uh, one Waver Buster go into LP, and then special another one, and then link LP and that monster into Heretic Seal. So it's pretty funny, like, what you can do. So that's it for the Link 2s. And then, I mean, the Link 1s. And then we play, the, of course, the one uh, Guard Dragon Agapain. Just being able to special summon any monster to this zone or like this zone is really powerful. Like summoning the hot red and cards like that. So that's it for the guard dragons. Then you play the link twos. You play the one B cop because B cop is important in the combo. I'll show you guys before. But the main reason why you play B cop is for the pointers. Um, the pointers are very very important because uh, being able to summon the guard dragons here and here lets you point uh, over here. So it just gives you a lot of applications. Heretic Seal because you end on this bad boy, and basically what he does is, he can bounce one face-up card on the field. He doesn't need to bounce another monster, and he tributes monsters. So you can tribute your own dark monster, and then trigger your Diablos in the graveyard, and he'll summon himself. And um, he's the one, he's the reason why you can summon uh, Goliath from the deck. So that's that. Now, last link to you played Nightmare Phoenix, just the best uh, Nightmare that you can have in the deck. Then going on to link threes, you play the one nightmare unicorn just because unicorn is insane. And he also, if you pay attention, he has a downward pointer as well. So if you make him before your guard dragon plays, it's not so bad. And then chill burst, like the application chill burst provides is insane. And the combo, like he comes up so much. Not only that, being able to revive like a link two or lower is just super crazy. And piercing damage, like you pierce the game so many times, it's insane. Then for the link fours, you play the one Saryuja and the one Borlode. Um, I'm not playing two Saryuja because you have to cut down cards like a Unicorn or like a third Colossus, and I think that's too important right now in the metagame, especially in grind games. So the one Saryuja, like, this draw effect never resolves, but you don't care because you only have the pointers. And then the Borlo Dragon, just because, like, not a lot of people play around Borlo and taking, like, annoying monsters like Baguska and then Baguska and uh, Salman great players, they can't really deal with it. So I think these are the best. And also, say you can't get the Borlo, you just bring them off Ag of Agape and then make a Saryuja and combo off. So it's pretty nice. Then for the fusions, you play. Uh, Triple Thunder Dragon Colossus. I know guys, I don't have ultis. If you have ultis, please hit me up. Like, I'm trying to get ultis. Broke boy gang. But yeah, Colossus, like, self-explanatory. You play three. A lot of people have been cutting this card to two, but you don't really want to cut this card to two because your grind game gets hurt. And then I play the one Synchro, which is Hot Red, and the one uh, XYZ, which is Hope. The reason I play Hope is not really for his uh, first effect. It's for his second effect. When a monster attacks another monster on the field, you can detach a material redirect the attack to him so he's the reason why you can protect cards like your amorphage goliath and like your heretic ceiling cards like that so that's about it 15 in the main now we're gonna go into the side deck so uh the side deck guys we play the two dino wrestler panker tops two not three just because it's not that good against mystic mind decks um it is although like one of the uh, best generic cards that you can play so being able to like side this against salmon gates or the mirror match is really important uh, double sphere mode just because we respect the endymion matchups and being able to draw this draw into this card with like sekas and car and dangers and like not normal summoning is really important and like you can just out any sort of uh, combo board left in the format right now then you play the other two phantasmi just because like going second is such a good card like being able to mulligan during your opponent's turns insane and again guys it's searchable um if you don't have 
uh, space for this or like the budget for this card, you can replace it with like Effect Veiler, Ash Blossoms, cards like that that let you interact during your opponent's turn. Then we play Triple Cosmic Cyclone. So you need to play this card in um, the current format just because Mystic Mine is very, very um, like annoying to deal with with this deck, especially if they go first. So you want to be able to side heavy for that Mystic Mine matchup because you auto win every other matchup. So the re that's the reason why I'm playing the Triple Cosmic Cyclone. And um, yeah, nothing else to say about this. Like they play a lot of cards like they play this card that's like if you if they if a card would be destroyed and they play cards like Starlight Roll and stuff like that, Cosmic Cyclone just gets over all of that. And again, guys, you just want to hold your out until you can completely clear the board. So even if you draw into Cyclone, you don't Cyclone right away. You just wait and wait and wait because they're not going to OTK you. So that's it for the Cyclones. Then some more Mystic Mind Hate and going first hit. You play Double Eradicator and the One Order. Um, Imperial Order is really good in the Sky Striker matchup and other sort of matchups like that. And then Eradicator comes up in Mystic Mind matchups and other matchups if you go first and you don't think Sekas is that good. You can just set up like... Double Colossus and then just eradicated them for like traps like an Aldergeist matchup. Order also deals with um, uh, Mystic Mind and cards like that. So yeah, nothing else to say about that. Maybe you could put in a third Eradicator, but right now I think this is the best um, uh, cards that you can play in the current match, in the current metagame. And then you play the Triple Denko Saka just because Denko punishes so many decks in the metagame right now. Like against Orcus, you normal them, turns off their back row. Against Mystic Mind, you normal it, turns off their back row. Against all sorts of decks, you normal it, turns off their back row. And this card combined with uh, Cosmic Cyclone, literally guarantees that you're not going to lose your Mystic Mind matchup. So basically, you draw one, you hold it for the other. Like, you just wait. And they also can't out uh, Denko, so you can just normal it, and then you just hold the Cosmic Cyclone. Wait for Denko. As soon as the Denko drops, you go normal Denko, they have no response. Then you cycle Mystic Mind, and you combo off, and you out it. So, that's it for the side deck, guys. 15 in the side, 15, uh, 40 in the main, and then 15 in the extra. Um, now we're just going to get into some uh, really standard uh, two-card combo. So now, guys, I'm going to be showing you one of the most powerful two-card combos that this deck has. So this is Battery Man Solar plus uh, White Dragon River Buster. So, yeah, let's get straight into the combo. So here, you get a normal sun Battery Man Solar and use Solar's effect. And Solar is going to dump your Thunder Dragon Roar. So again, guys, super standard. Make sure you normal the Solar in this zone right here. Then you're going to banish the Roar and you're going to special summon the River Buster, triggering the Roar. Roar is going to trigger, and Roar is going to summon a Thunder Dragon monster from your deck. And it's going to be the Dark. And now Dark is, I've, and now uh, Solar is going to trigger and summoning, summoning you a token right here. So now these zones are very important. You need to make sure you have a uh, Wiver Buster and Dark at the edges, and then these uh, two monsters can be anywhere. Because you're going to link these monsters away into uh, B-Cop. And B-Cop going to go right here. So you make sure that Dark is far away from the B-Cop. Now you're going to link the one Wiver Buster away, and you're going to link Wiver Buster into LP or Pitsy. It doesn't matter because you're going to be making both of them, but I like making LP for this case. And now Wiver Buster will trigger, getting you Black Dragon. So now you're going to get Black Dragon in your hand, so now you have one in hand. And now Black Dragon, you're going to special him by banishing the white because he's irrelevant. And now you link the Black Dragon away. And basically Black Dragon is going to get you right into your Pitsy. And then Black Dragon is going to trigger searching the white. So right now, guys, I'm going to use these three cards to show. So this, this is your hand right now. You have three blank cards, and then you have the one river buster. Okay? Now from here, you're going to use LP effect. Because you have two monster points the same. And this is where you summon your Omni Dragon Brotar. So say in your hand right now, you already had the Diablos. You would search uh, Levinir, or if you already had Levinir, you search Diablos. But right now, you're going to use this effect. You're going to discard the river buster because it's dead in your hand and target himself. Basically, what that's going to allow you to do is it's going to allow you to search your Chaos Dragon Levinir directly from your deck to your hand. Now basically you just start doing some link plays. So you link climb uh, the B-Cop and the Brotor away into your Triple Burst Dragon. And now you use Pitsy effect to bring back any Dragon Monster. It doesn't matter, you bring back uh, Brotor. If Brotor wasn't a once return, this combo would be broken, but unfortunately it is, but I guess Konami listened. Now you link Brotor and Triple Burst away into your Guard Dragon Agrippane right here. And now you're going to use Agrippane effect. Since two monsters are pointing to the same place, you summon Hot Red Dragon Abyss. So right now, you guys, you can see like how important this two-card combo is, like what it can bring up, but it's, that's not it. So now you're going to link your three Guard Dragons and your Dark Away into your Saryuja Skaldred. And now you chain block Saryuja with uh, one, two. So Dark will trigger. Searching you the Hawk, because you haven't used the Hand effect. And then Saryuja will draw, like, it doesn't matter what you draw, like, you draw the four cards like this. So now this is your hand, you put three back, so we'll just put three back. So right now, 
This is our hand. Off of a two card combo. But that's not it. So now we're going to use Hawk Effect. You're going to pitch Hawk. And you're going to summon your Banished Roar just because you want cards in your graveyard. And you're going to tribute the Roar away for the Thunder Dragon Colossus. In defense position, just to respect the Fusion of Fire play. And now you're going to uh, Special Leaven here by banishing three dra Dark Dragons. Make sure you keep the Broke Dragon Graveyard for the follow play next turn, like I showed you guys before. And this is going to summon your Chaos Dragon Levian Year. And now Levian Year is going to rip a card out of your opponent's hand. Then what you can do is you can link these two away into your Heretic Seal right above here. So basically, guys, off a two card combo, we went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We went um, like a, literally a plus like 58. And you get one negate, you have a stop your opponent from literally playing the game, and you have a heretic seal. If we backtrack this play, you also have another uh, line of play where it's just overlay these two into a whole part bringer. And of course, guys, this is like not counting any of these cards you drew in your hand. Like, say you drew cards like more Thunder Dragon Monsters or like Diablo, stuff like that, you can with a bigger board. But right now, this is like one of the best combos. If you guys want to see more combos, make sure you check out our channel, Author Gaming. Um, link will be in the description below. Huge shout out to Sam for uh, giving us the ability to upload on his channel. Ho if you guys are interested, make sure you check out our channel. Make sure you like this video a lot. Once again, guys, this is Hamza from Author Gaming signing out. Peace. <laughs> Like Usain in the cheetah print. Uh, uh, Talk fresh game, I don't need a minute. Uh, uh, RIP the game, shh, I need a minute. Uh, okay, let's proceed with it. I'm in the house, got to deep with it. These bozos always sneak this and they taking shots, I'ma keep with it. Like, no, no, this league business. Ooh,